Jordan. Jordan here. Just wanted to share a little day-to-day -day video, I guess, or video while I'm out here. Um, I see a lot of people in my in the comment section on my videos, my Postmate videos, asking me to try other um, other delivery services, which I probably will get to. I said to myself that I would give myself a full year um, of just doing one at a time, um, just to see how I would like it. I'm not. I feel like they changed. I feel like they changed too much um, for me to actually. For me to actually, um, the delivery services, they just change too many things for me to keep up. I'd rather just stick with one and then see everything that that one has to offer or, you know, see, see how far they can go with it, with the different changes and then jump to another one. Salute to everybody that can jump around from like ride share to ride share, delivery service to delivery service. I'm, I can't, I won't be able to do that. Because it, it, it's just way too much. You would be recording every day with the changes that go on between all the different delivery services, all the different ride shares. Um, yeah, and I just don't have that type of time. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share a video with you guys. Let y'all know. Uh, I was out here. I'm, out, I'm actually out here. I was out here doing Postmates right now. Um, I'm hanging it up. I came out here like around 8. And it is four o'clock, about four seventeen. Um, I've done about fifteen, between fifteen and eighteen. I haven't counted fifteen and eighteen deliveries in that time frame, and they are pretty good. It's pretty good money, and it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year's to everyone. Um, I hope it's a prosperous one for all, for everybody viewing this video, and everybody that's not viewing it. Um, but yes, uh, I've done about between 15 and 18 last time i checked i was at like 14 and that was like two hours ago so or a little less than two hours ago and so i'm assuming that i'm around the 18 ish um i was at roswell and it was straight popping up there it was just it was hot up there and they were like longer deliveries they weren't the little four dollar BS ones that you get downtown most of the time um, during the week. These were like longer deliveries, uh, which is cool. Um, and this is New Year's Day. I was skeptical and when I came out here around eight. It was dead. It was completely dead. And I was like, you know what? I said, if this thing don't pop off in like the next hour or so, it's a wrap. I'm going home. Cause I figured a bunch of stuff was gonna be closed and the things that weren't gonna be closed, I didn't wanna wait for. I didn't wanna be waiting for Waffle House. I didn't want the hangover, uh, the hangover order menu, order order items that people get at uh, McDonald's and all of that stuff. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. And um, I didn't, luck, it's crazy. I didn't get any, I didn't get any McDonald's orders. I didn't get any, um, Waffle House orders today, and I thought that that was going to be like a major thing. I thought that that was going to be the main thing that people was going to be ordering. Ironically, it's a lot of restaurants that's actually open today, and they're and they're the, and they're the pickup, they're the pickup um, restaurants, the ones that you just you know you pick up your order and you. I gotta turn on the heat. It's getting a little chilly out here. Um, the ones that you just pick up and go. A lot of those restaurants up in like like I said the Roswell Marietta area. I was, it was popping for me up there. It was crazy. I just one of my my boy that one of my homies that also do Postmates. He had came out. He had came out around like ten o'clock, and um, he got like four real quick downtown ones. They weren't really. It wasn't really too much going on. And I told him, you know, you might want to go up to Roswell. Um, you know, as I powered down and got off of the platform, I told him to go ahead and head up there because because it was popping for me. I was getting all types of deliveries, um, and I was definitely, I, I definitely wasn't expecting that, and I should have, I should have had more faith in it, because I remember being out here, I remember being out here, um, I remember being out here for Father's Day, and I thought it wasn't going to really be, even though Father's Day isn't a huge, huge holiday, I just thought that the fact that it was a holiday, 
And I believe Father's Day is in the summertime, if I'm not mistaken. I'm a father. I should know. Sucks. But um, I believe it's in the summertime. And I thought that it wasn't going to be popping on Father's Day. And it was popping. I remember running into some other dude that was doing Postmates. And he was like, don't you want to go home and celebrate father fatherhood? And I'm like, hell no. Like, I'm going... I'm going to get out here. I'm going to be out here just like you. And it was popping that day. It was popping. I think I probably made, I might have made $150 or, you know, close to $150 that day, just that one day. And I was outside probably for a good, I was driving for probably a good eight hours, um, a full shift, if you will, of doing Postmates. And I probably, with that plus the tips, you know, um, I, I, I did pretty well for myself. Uh, one thing that people really like is like, you know, getting really into like, if it's a holiday, getting really into, you know, wishing them whatever, a happy new year, a Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Um, at, if, if a guy, if it's Father's Day, asking a guy, you know, are you a father or a happy Father's Day to you or tell him, you know, wish your, wish your father a happy Father's Day for, for, uh, for him, you know, it's little stuff like that, little minute, minute, minute details like that that uh go a long way in the tip category people remember that type of stuff it's like more of a personal personable um experience um and you know and, and it makes you feel good too you, you're kind of connecting with the person for a short period of time even if it's just something even if it's just small talking you just making sure that their food gets to them hot or whatever product that they order from the mall makes you making sure that it gets to them in one piece you know, um, it's the those little those little minute um, details that people are really appreciative of, and it goes a long way in the tip the tipping category. Um, I remember one time I had made, and this is no exaggeration. I'm not the exaggeration exaggerating type. Um, I had to pick up a pair of sneakers for uh, an Atlanta Hawks player. It was one of the players. I want to say it was Schroeder. I don't keep up with the Haw with the Hawks team like that. Um, I'm not a fan, so I don't keep up with their team at all. And I want to say it was um, that kid Schroeder. I think his name is Dennis Schroeder. I think that I know it was an Atlanta Hawks player, but I couldn't remember which one it was. And I want to say it was Schroeder. And um, I had to pick up a pair of Air Forces from Foot Locker for him. And when I dropped them off. Um, when I dropped him off, uh, me and him, you know, we had a little small talk or whatever, and um, it was just cool, you know, and he ended up, like, on, tipping me on the app $50 for doing that, just for picking up a pair of sneakers from Lennox Mall, a Foot Locker in Lennox Mall, and, uh, or Champ, I think it was Champs in Lennox Mall, and dropping them off, you know, to him, which was cool to me, that was, that, that was dope, you know, um, a little small talk, just being nice and courteous, making sure you smell good and you're taking care of them, you know, putting mints and stuff in the bag. Make sure you let them know whatever it is that you put inside the bag that you had to go out your way to do for them. Uh, plastic wear or what have you. Those little small minute details go a long way with people. People really appreciate that. Um, one thing I know is like Moe's. Um, with Moe's, you know, they have the... Um, Moe's has the... The saucers, the um, you know, the, they have the saucer station where you can just go and like make little cups of sauce, and you know they give chips with I think with every meal, if I'm not mistaken, with with everything that they serve, they give chips, and you just go and you know get like the get one of each or whatever, or like get three and get two miles and one extra hot. That little stuff, those little things like that, they go a long way. Let the person know, listen, I um, I put that inside, you know, I put I put some sauces in the bag for you. They that stuff goes a long way with people. It does. It does. Cause they don't be thinking about that when they even order. They don't. I don't. They don't think about that that stuff, especially at Moe's. They definitely don't. Yeah. So um, like I said, I just wanted to share this video with y'all. Want to keep it brief. I didn't really want to do too much with it. I'm out here on on um, New Year's Day, just trying to accumulate some some money. Um, I did pretty well today some longer trips i think only had like one four dollar trip which was chick-fil-a up on uh, at 1901 peach street street and um y'all have a prosperous prosperous new year i'm going to definitely be hitting y'all with more content on different things i got other videos that i'll be talking about other stuff with 
uh, I don't know what's going on here. It's saying that it can't, it can't connect my, I'm hoping that it's not doing nothing stupid. Um, but yeah, um, y'all be safe out here as usual. Have a prosperous and fruitful and beneficial new year. I'm going to continue to hit y'all with some content as I feel like it. <laughs> um, and y'all just get at me in the comment section. You know how we do. I try to answer questions or whatever that, um, whatever it is. Share the video if you know somebody that want to get in the Postmates or whatever. Um, make sure, you know, share the video. They, they're, they're more than welcome to hit me up in the comment section for any questions. I've been doing it for like a little over a year and a half now. Um, so I'm kind of like versed in, in the city and, and different things that people should know. And I definitely don't mind sharing with anybody. So, um, yeah, y'all just get at me in the comment section and we're going to rock. All right. Peace.